Here comes your Marin County real estate update where you'll see information about Marin County real estate that you won't see anywhere else. Today, I have the just released September statistics of Marin County home prices. I'm going to show you that information and go back four years for a much needed historical reference. And if that's not enough to keep you watching to the end of this video, I've also got the Marin Coming Soon Homes, which are the Marin County properties that you can't see on Zillow. And I also have some shocking Marin County home price reductions. So let's get to it. There are currently 433 homes for sale in Marin County. Up! from my last report. In the past seven days, there were 69 new listings. Again, up from my last report. Of those 69 new listings, three are secret homes that you can see on Zillow or other similar sites. I'll show you those homes later in this video. And one more stat you need to know this week is the number of Marin homes with a price reduction. This week, there were 47 reduced price homes. All summer long, there was an average of about 25 homes each week with a reduced price. So this is a significant jump that demonstrates that sellers are having a harder time selling their homes. Of those 47 homes with a reduced price, on average, they were reduced 10%. Which home has been reduced 60%? And which home that has a list price of under $5 million has been reduced $1 million? I'll show you those and a couple of other notable reduced price homes at the end of this video. If you need a realtor, reach out to me because I love to help people just like you make a smart move. And by the way, I'm different. And if you don't know how, email me with just one word. Buyer, if you're thinking about buying a home in Marin County anytime in the next year, or seller, if you're considering selling in the next year, which is a great idea, by the way. Anyway, I'll email you my buyer or seller guide where I'll explain not only my unique value, but also the basics of the buying home process or the selling home process. Now, let's look at the September Marin County Home Update. Looking back with four years of statistics. And why am I including the historical references for this Marin Homes Update? It's because of the flaws of the average and the median price stats in a location like Marin County. I talked about that and ways to deal with the flaws in this video right here. If you didn't see it, that explanation starts at about one minute into the video. Check it out at the end of this one. Okay, let's start with the for sale homes and the new listings over four years, like I said. So the green bars represent the for sale homes that you see here, and the blue line represents the new listings. First thing I wanna point out is this jump here in for sale homes. I mentioned in my last of Marin County market reports that there was an increase in Marin County homes for sale, and that's very clear to see now that it is here and stuck quite a bit more than all the months this year. Now, you know, everybody's been talking about low inventory, so maybe this is going to change things. So sellers, you better think about this. If inventory pops up and keeps going in that direction, home prices could get a bit weaker. Home sellers are getting excellent prices right now when they sell their homes because of this lack of inventory. So the other thing I'd like to mention about this chart is where we are right now. Let me see if I can get a ruler. Okay, I'm gonna draw a box in here and see if I can use that as kind of like a ruler. So we can see where we are right now that we were in this place last year, although a little lower in inventory than at this exact time last year. And okay, we don't have the inventory of the prior years, but there's a few months where it's starting to rival that. So maybe things are looking up to have more inventory on the market. Maybe it's just because more sellers are starting to realize that when interest rates have doubled like they have, which by the way, is the first time in US history that mortgage rates doubled within one year and ours doubled within just a few months. That is really different. But in general, 
when mortgage rates go up the way they have, you could expect housing to be down something like 30%. And it absolutely is not down 30%. Why? Because of this inventory. Well, if inventory starts to increase, sellers are gonna start getting some lower prices. So this is potentially an excellent time to sell because there's nothing coming up in our economic future that suggests that home prices are gonna take off again like they did in 2022. Houses are now more unaffordable than they have been in the last 40 years. So don't expect it to get worse, meaning housing prices are not likely to rush up like they did in 2022, really pretty much any time in our future, or I should say anytime soon in our future. Of course, that is my humble opinion. But as a professional stock trader for over 15 years, I'm pretty comfortable with understanding how markets work. Okay, now let's take a look at average days on market. So average days on market did drop last month when it had been much higher the previous two months. That's interesting, right? Inventory has increased, but days on market has gone down. That does suggest that there's still a lot of homes selling, or maybe sellers are just getting better about pricing their home where it needs to be to begin with. In any event, we can see that this current average days on market is pretty low looking across all of the last four years. Okay, here we have the blue bars representing the median prices. The red line represents the average prices. These are sold homes, of course, not all homes, sold ones. And then this green line up here represents the asking prices, the average asking prices that sellers have. I don't pay much attention to this one because this is just what people want to get for their house, not what it actually sold for. And it includes really pricey homes that do tend to stay on the market longer anyway, which is probably why this line is always a lot higher than the red line of the actual average sales. In any event, we can see that average prices increased last month and so did the median price. So it would suggest that September in Marin was pretty hot. People were getting good prices for their homes and they were selling relatively quickly. The median home price was up 16.6% and the average price was up 16.1%. Now those prices are still down from a year ago with the median sold price being down 5.1% since then and the average sold price being down 6.1%, it's off this chart, sorry about that. So clearly we've had a little bump in prices in Marin over the last month. But as I mentioned in the video, again, where I talked about average versus medium prices in a market like Marin, this one right here, it's good to look over long periods of time because month to month data can be really misleading in a market like Marin where our prices are not very similar. Now it's a little difficult to look at prices over the long term when real estate is seasonal, meaning that it's always hotter in the spring and it's always really cool in the winter with summer being not as hot as the spring and fall being a little hotter than the summer. In any event, we tend to have a little cyclical thing going on. So the most interesting thing here is if you were to look at the prices from last year, again, let me pull out that little box because that's helpful. So let me create the box across this area where we can see that we are at prices, even though they're a lot higher this month, that's similar to pricing in 2021 and only a little bit higher than pricing at the peak of 2020. But we have really chopped off a lot of our really hot months of 2022. However, if we revert to something that's more like last month, let me erase this stuff and have prices like last month and we draw this line. I'll try to make it as thin as possible this time. Then we've chopped off a good chunk of prices from 2021 and we would be nearing the prices that Marin County had in 2019. So it's going to be very interesting to see where these prices go. But anyway, let's also look at price per square foot. Well, here we see that price per square foot was also up last month. So in general, Marin County prices did see a boost last month. Now over the whole four year period, oh, and how much was that? That was, uh, hold on a second. The average price per square foot for the month was up 6.6%. And for the whole year, compared to last year, price per square foot is down 6.3%. That number you could see right here. 
6.3%. All right, let's do the box thing. Let's draw a little box, pretty close. Well, okay, it's not a box. It's a line, a fat line with prices. And again, you can see where they're not as hot as they were last year. They're mostly on par with the year prior to our high price year. But if they drop to the level that they were last month, we're gonna start getting into the pricing of 2021. Now I'll show you the Marin County homes that you can't see on Zillow. Of course, if you wanna see any of these homes, reach out to me, I'd love to help you out. Okay, so this is a home that is coming soon to the market. It is located in Novato, it's a condominium Minium, in case you can't tell, it's going to be priced at $755,000. Hmm, pretty reasonable for Marin, right? It has 1,452 square feet and three bedrooms. Wow, sizable. And two bathrooms. And this home is also coming soon to the market. It is in Novato and it will be priced at $1,295,000. It has a square footage of 2,133 square feet and it includes three bedrooms and three bathrooms. And I know this neighborhood, it's in Hamilton. I love it there. So it's great to have more inventory from Hamilton on the market. Okay coming soon to the market. And this home with the crazy crooked picture is also coming soon to the market. It'll probably have a better picture by then. Anyway, this home is located in San Rafael. It has four bedrooms and two bathrooms and the square footage is 1,430 square feet and it is going to be listed for $1,100,000. Last, the Marin County homes with price reductions. Okay, as I said in the beginning of this video, there are 47 of these. I won't be showing you 47 homes, but if you wanna see all of them, email me and I can set you up with my new beautiful MLS search. That is better than Zillow, but as user-friendly and beautiful as Zillow. Seriously, I'm so excited about this change. It's been really tough because our local MLS has the best, most accurate, and most thorough information. But hey, we all like Zillow or Redfin or some other online site to look at listings, even though those sites buy their information from our local MLS. And their information is not always correct. You know, lost in translation. Anyway, those sites also don't have the coming soon listings that I just showed you. Well, my new way of seeing listings is as beautiful and easy to use as Zillow and the others, but this one comes direct off the MLS with complete accuracy. And it also has the coming soon listings. Plus, as a member of the fastest growing brokerage in US history, I also have all the private off-market listings of all EXP Realty agents. With over 89,000 agents all around the world, we are a force. And our exclusive private listings bring value to our clients that no other independent brokerage can compete with. Anyway, I will be moving all my clients over to this new online way of seeing all Marin County home listings as soon as possible. Making those changes now. Okay. Let's look at some of those Marin County homes with price reductions. Okay, so first we'll do that house that has a 60% price reduction. For those of you who have been watching my videos, you will not be surprised that that condominium is located in this building. Yeah, that's right. This is that senior place. You have to be at least 55 years old to live there, but it has a really high HOA because it does have amazing amenities. So this particular unit, over the course of time that it has been listed, has had price reductions that equal up to 60%. You might not see that on Zillow because Zillow just does the last price reduction, not the entire price reductions. But in any event, the condominium is in San Rafael. It has two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a square footage of 1,150 square feet. I've seen the interior of this one as well. It's really quite nice. And the condo is now listed for $198,000. And here's the home with that $1 million reduction. Okay, this home is in Kentfield. Beautiful Kentfield, we love Kentfield. The home is 
quite large at 6,135 square feet. It has six bedrooms and eight bathrooms and is set in this beautiful woodsy-like environment. Anyway, the house is now priced at $4,495,000. That's right, it started at $5,495,000. Let me show you a couple more interesting reductions. How about this house? This one is in San Rafael and it has had a price reduction of over $395,000. This house is three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and I find it pretty interesting that the new list price on it is $1,000,000. $99,500. That's pretty inexpensive for San Rafael and for a house that looks like this one. Oh, and by the way, I don't know the exact square footage because for whatever reason, it's not listed in the MLS, but it looks pretty sizable, doesn't it? So this house is in San Rafael and it has had price reductions of $555,000. That represents a 24% decrease. Okay. The home has three bedrooms and three bathrooms and a square footage of 1,800 square feet. And this one, and this one is now priced at $1,795,000. Reach out to me if you wanna see any of these homes. And if you're thinking about selling your Marin home, you don't wanna be put in the situation of needing to reduce your price. Email me and ask for my seller's guide to learn more about that. And if you want an overview on Marin County home prices, I've dropped some videos recently about what you can buy for particular prices in Marin. If you haven't seen those, here they are. And I'm going to be doing more of these in the future for other price points that I haven't yet touched. Have a great day.